Yes. What if everyone said it just a little more? Would the world be a better place? A nicer place? At MU Health, we're certain of one thing, that yes makes the world a healthier place. Yes is the strength to fight doubt, the fuel to find cures, and the unbreakable resolve to keep pushing further. At Mid-Missouri's only academic health center, yes isn't just changing lives, it's saving them. Radio Friends, on Wednesday, July the 13th, we're all in for a very special treat today because we have Todd Davidson with us, Artistic Hello. Director, Maple's Rep Theater, and uh, you're going to be opening Joseph in the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, right? That's right, opening on Friday. Now, this is not the first time you've done nope, Joseph. this though. is the first musical the Maple's Rep has repeated. We did it in 2005, and 11 years later, now we're going to hit it again. So this is the first one you've repeated? Uh-huh, the first musical we've repeated. Yeah. Wow. So I guess you've had a lot of uh, you've had a lot of requests for it. We have. It's been it's a real crowd pleaser. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of men in it. Anytime you've got an ensemble of men singing and dancing, people think, "Wow, that's cool." Yeah. The, when you say a bunch, how many people are you talking about in this show? Well, there are 14 men and four women. So there's 18 plus then and then nine kids. So. Yeah. So it's a it's a pretty big. Yeah. It's a big, it is. T tell us the story of Joseph in the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Well, it's the biblical story of Jacob and his all his 12 sons, and Joseph is his favorite son. So Jacob, you know, maybe unwisely, <laughs> gives his one son the Technicolor Dreamcoat, a beautiful coat, and that makes all the other brothers jealous. Right. And so they end up uh, selling him into slavery, you know, which is not a very nice thing for, no, children, no. for brothers to do to one another, but they do. And so then Joseph goes off into slavery, into Egypt, and it seems like the end of him. But as we know the story, uh, he makes the best out of his uh, situation. And Joseph has a uh, gift that he can tell dreams. He can interpret dreams. And so when he's even in jail, he has an opportunity to use that gift and tell some dreams. And so then Pharaoh hears about it and calls him in to interpret one of his dreams. And then Joseph becomes, you know, the bigwig in yeah. Egypt. To, to the point that his brothers way back in Canaan, they are having a famine and so they need money or they need food. Right. And so they make their way to beg in Egypt and they beg before Joseph, but they don't realize it's Joseph. Mm. They don't realize so it's they his had they had kind of turned Joseph away. They had. Now they need Joseph. Now they need him. And this is a, a, a musical with how many songs. Oh my gosh. It, it's not so many how many songs, it's how many different styles. There's yeah. a country song, there's a French cafe song, there's a Calypso number, there's a kind of a pseudo rap number, there's musical theater sounding style, there's kind of a uh, pop star kind of a number. So, yeah. 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 Now you brought, you brought one tune with us today. I did. And one young lady. Why don't you go ahead and set we this did. up? Uh, we did. The, the story of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat is told through the uh, as uh, the main character is the narrator who tells the story, a storyteller. Mm -hmm. She's sort of the audience's way Kinda into like the story. Kind of like Evita. Yes, yeah, sort of like that. And so uh, we're fortunate to have Melissa Bohan uh, as our narrator, and she is. She, she tells us through the story. So that's who we brought today, and she's going to tell us a little bit about the the Pharaoh part of the story, kind of the beginning of Act Two. Okay, so we have Melissa Bohan, and if you. I think that name sounds familiar. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll explain it to you when Melissa sure, is done. Right. Okay? okay, so here's Melissa Bohan, the narrator of Joseph in the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Pharaoh, he was a powerful man with the ancient world in the palm of his hand to all intents and purposes he he was egypt with a capital e whatever he did he was showered with praise if he cracked a joke then you chortled for days no one had rights or a vote but the king in fact you might say he was fairly right wing when pharaohs around then you get down on the ground if you ever Find yourself near Remesis. Get down on your knees. Down at the other end of the scale, Joseph is still doing time in jail. For even though he is in with the guards, 
A lifetime in prison seems quite on the card. But if my analysis of the position is right, at the end of the tunnel there's a glimmer of light. For all of a sudden, indescribable things have shattered the sleep of both peasants and kings. Strange as it seems, there's been a run of crazy dreams. And a man who can interpret could go far, could become a star. A star. Strange as it seems, there's been a run of crazy dreams. And a man That's very you. nice. Narrator, Melissa Bohan. Now, she said, Bohan, 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 scratch my head. <laughs> Tell us yes. your dad. Um, my dad is Bob Bohan. He was the music director at Rockbridge High School for 30 plus years. And then he retired and traveled around and uh, with shows and has worked for He's Todd worked for us, yeah. 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 Music yeah. directing and acting. And so uh, my brother and I kind of got our theater you know, uh, love from dad from and your dad. Bob, yeah, Bob, and we right. were performing here, Columbia, locally for years growing up. And so, what are you doing? Um, right now, I'm a stay-at-home mom back in Columbia. I moved to New York for we were on the East Coast for about seven years and did a little Broadway, did a little national tour, did a little regional stuff, and then and my now you're husband, doing Naples Rep. Yeah, now yeah, I'm back here. Yeah. Yes, yeah. We're, we're glad to have you with us. Thank and you, you were. Uh, as a little one, you were on Pepper and Friends yes. many years ago as Peter Pan. Yes, yeah, Rockbridge High School's production of Peter Pan. Right. What, what? Good to have yeah. you back. And then That's good. over on music, we got our good buddy over there, Kevin Casey, yep. playing, the, playing the keyboard. Right? How can they come and see uh, Joseph? You can come and see Joseph by calling the box office, 660-385-2924, or you can go online at maplesrep.com and uh, just click right through on the Buy Tickets tab, and they'll we'll get you tickets right away. Okay, and uh, you can pick your seats out you on can, yep. line. And, and this we, is running in rep, right? It's running in rep with Ring of Fire, the music of Johnny Cash, and just this first weekend, it's also running in rep with Of Mice and Men. It's the last chance to see the classic American play Of Mice and Men. Okay. And then Joseph runs through August 7th. You got it. So there's no reason why you cannot see Joseph in the amazing Technicolor dream coat. Kevin, can you uh, just play some uh, Joseph music as we say goodbye some today? Good Joseph right. music. Yeah. Joseph music. That's which right. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Kaishu Jean. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator is Uncle James Mauser. And we say thanks to uh, Kevin Casey for coming out here today. Todd Davidson, thank yep. you. And Melissa, have yourself a good week. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.